Are your students replying to messages in Seesaw that you don't want them to? Hi, I'm Billy Jo from Elkhart Instructional Tech. In this video, I will show you the different ways to send messages in Seesaw so that you receive replies only when you want to. We will explore group chats, announcements, and choosing the groups to message. We would love it if you would subscribe to our YouTube channel if you haven't done so already. There are two different conversation types when starting messages to two or more people, announcements and group chat. When starting a group chat to two or more people, admin and teachers can choose that all replies to a message be visible and all recipients can reply in the conversation with group chat. Students within the group can reply to the group chat, which means everyone will see the conversation thread. You do have the ability to edit the conversation by tapping on the three dots in the top right corner. Here, you can edit the conversation name, so instead of seeing the names of all the recipients, you can rename the group so everyone can identify the group easier when reading messages and replying. You can also edit the conversation type, such as if you want to change it from a group chat where everyone can reply to an announcement where there is no reply all feature. You can add a person or group to the message thread by tapping on add person or group. If you tap the three dots next to a name, you can block that person so that he or she isn't able to reply, but still able to see all replies from others. Or you can remove that person completely. Tap on the three dots on an individual message you have sent to edit the message. View the message info, such as who has viewed it, remove the message, or block the person who sent the message. Tap on the three dots on an individual message sent by someone else to view the message info, remove the message, or block the person who sent the message. When initiating an announcement to two or more participants, admin and teachers can choose to send an announcement that only they can send messages to. Recipients are not able to reply to announcements. Announcements will always feature this speaker icon so you can visually see that group replies will not occur. When someone receives an announcement, he or she can tap on the three dots on the message and select privately reply. Private replies to announcements will start a new conversation thread with both people. When you create a new conversation, tapping on add classes gives you the option to filter your audience by teachers, family members, and or students. You can also select my classes so that you can send a message to your whole class or sort by a grade level. When choosing the roster class, remember that you will be messaging all students and or family members. Seesaw defaults to sending an announcement. Don't select group chat to roster class because all recipients will be able to reply to all. Remember, if you need to change a conversation type from a group chat to an announcement, for example, tap on the three dots in the top right corner of the conversation and select edit conversation type. In summary, use announcements when you are sending newsletters, reminders, and other information to large groups, and the ability to reply to all is not needed. Use group chat when messaging family members, other staff, and or students regarding student progress to connect groups of students and facilitate the discussion, or other groups where reply to all is needed and everyone can see the conversation thread. Seesaw makes it easy to keep all communication in one place. Thanks for watching. You can check out our instructional blog at blog.elkart.k12.in.us. We are also on Facebook, Twitter, Instagram, and don't forget to check out our YouTube channel.